bar none. For whatever strange reason, as a kid, my absolutely favorite minibot was Beachcomber. And as I have sat by patiently and watched your bumblebees and road burns and everyone else come down the line from power glide to sea spray, I have hoped and hoped that we would get a new, more modern update of that character that I loved so much. And finally it is here. This is the Power of the Primes Legends Class Beachcomber. And I cannot wait to take a look at this guy in the latest Got By True review. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Dennis Moulton, aka Gotbot. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, share, check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor. Spend some time on the channel, see what it is that catches your interest. And this is Beachcomber. Love the guy. I uh, had to do a couple of little paint apps with him, but we will deal with one thing at a time. So we're going to remove this and remove him and start off with his box. This is Beachcomber's box. There's there's Beachcomber up there. Um, you know, it, it's a box. Uh, on the back we have the, the product shots again and a picture of him with, uh, I think that's the Liege Maximo. Um, and uh, I guess there's nothing really to say here. It's a, it's a box. Nice art. Uh, he has his little bio which isn't much. Apparently he's a geologist. Uh, who, you know, who knew? Um, he locates resources, so whatever. Uh, his card is one of 12 variants that can come with these guys. I have, as my ever popular collector card, Onyx Prime. And I guess it makes him Onyx Beachcomber. Again, each of these is designed to give everyone a, a bit of power from the prime that they're connected with. Um, I, I'm not going to go collecting 12 of these because who needs that? Uh, apparently Onyx gives Beachcomber, uh, makes him into a fearless, feral defender of nature. Uh, I think he was already a fearless defender of nature. Look back, if you will, at the episode of the Golden Lagoon and how much he tried to protect that and the wildlife that lived there. Speaking of Golden Lagoon, Let's get in close to this guy and see what custom paint apps I've done on him and start giving this guy the proper grade that he deserves. So here's Beachcomber in all of his glory. Now, there is detailing on the chest. I have added a uh, Autobot symbol there because that's animation accurate. The fists were painted uh, gray, which was nice. I get why they did it. They done it to kind of break up and give a little bit of variation for it. I painted them blue. The truth is I probably could have worked on removing the gray paint and it's probably blue plastic underneath, but this was just easier. Plus, it's not exactly the same shade, so it still gives a little bit of variance. I'm going to I'm going to inquire to you guys, what do you think? Should I paint one of them gold to mimic the Golden Lagoon episode or leave them both blue? as he is sort of intended to regularly be. Uh, I'm giving the paint apps right now 10. I, it, they're great. This is perpetually Beachcomber. The head sculpt is, is perfect for Beachcomber. It is fantastic. So with a very strong start, we have articulation next. Um, so the head can go left and right. The arms can go all the way around. We have a nice bend to 90 degrees. Um, we don't have a bicep swivel, but you can use the ball joint, even though the ball joint is very tight on mine. Very, very tight on mine. Uh, the guy has no waist, uh, but the leg can go forward that far. If we pick up his roll cage on the back, the leg can go really all the way back. We have a, a nice, very deep knee bend. And a dedicated thigh swivel, I am cool with that. Nothing at the wrist. Um, yeah, 
I'm going to... <clears throat> I'm going to say that while we start off really strong with the paint apps, the articulation is good. It's not perfect. Um, you know, I guess a, 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 a waist swivel would have been nice and the fist, but what do you expect on a Legends class figure? I'm going to give it a strong... I'm going to give it a strong 9. Um, I think it's good for what it is. Uh, maybe 8.5. Let's say 8.5. Uh, it's, it's great. You're going to be able to pull off most things that you want to do with them. Also, and I forgot to mention this, I guess technically he has heel spurs because of the roll bar pieces that are kind of inside of his leg and foot area there. Um, and they naturally move for transformation. Here he is next to a, a Titans Return figure. Here he is next to Braun, and a lot of people have said, hey, this guy looks kind of bulky, as does Windcharger, as does Braun. Naturally, it's because of Titan Master, Prime Master integration, um, but I don't find it off-putting at all. Like, I I'm cool with, with Beachcomber looking like this. Uh, the transformation, not hard at all, so let's get into that next. The arms come in on the side. Actually, let's extend the body first. The head will automatically pull down into the body. The arms come in on the side and there's a little like divot right here in the gray plastic and a little lip on the arm. And basically all you're doing is pushing those pieces in. And that's how the arms lock in. Nothing very challenging there. Um, pull the roll bar kind of out for now because it's probably the easiest way to deal with it. Pull these roll bar pieces down, and now you need to put the legs together and the roll bar pieces together. Some people have said that you need to slide the legs together. I can see that, but um, I find I can just tab mine together. It's just when you do it, make sure that the roll bar pieces also line up and tab together. Like that. And this is what we have. We can take our little Titan Master or Prime Master, if you will, and see that little character in there. And of course, now you flip the legs up. Now, that being said, you can already have the legs flipped up and put the Titan Master in, like you don't have to unflip the legs to do it, or the Prime Master. Again, I, I'm, I'm, ha I'm saying both because you can use either, it's interchangeable. We bring down the roll bar and we tab all of that together And boom, in the end, there you have Beachcomber in his vehicle mode. Um, totally, totally dig this. Excellent update to the G1. He rolls great. The back wheels are pinned. These are just over like a friction clip. Um, I don't know why they weren't pinned. I think all four were pinned on the original. The only thing that is bothersome to me is this big hole here where his head is slid into the body. It would have been nice if the chest piece could somehow flip up over it. However, I firmly believe that that would have increased parts count and as such, I think the only thing that could have been sacrificed to make that happen at the price point we wanted would be to get rid of the dedicated thigh swivel. I, I You know what? I would rather have the thigh swivel than something to cover this. I will live with that if it gives me more articulation. Anyway, that's it for this guy. He's fantastic. Waited so long for him. So very glad to have him. And I guess that's all to say. Thank you very much for dropping by. Thanks for giving me some of your very valuable time. And I very much look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit right here inside the video.